Welcome back to Stratified. I know you all are going through the final stage of your first PUC, the most crucial one, that is the annual examination. Okay. I hope I know that you are feeling stressed about your exams. It's okay, you're not alone. A lot of students find this phase the most challenging, especially when you are dealing with a lot of study material at once. Okay. And uh, I know that you all are going through a lot of uh, notes, formulas of all the subjects that you have chosen and it is very stressful. But here is a good news. There are ways to make the study easier. Okay. I am here to help you conquer your fears regarding the subject in statistics. Okay. In this video, we are going to focus on those crucial questions that can earn you some marks very easily okay these are the questions that if you once understand the concepts practice them okay then they will fetch you some good amount of marks okay uh, we will cover the questions the chapters from which the questions are there and i will show you how to break down the most tricky question into simple one and manage the steps okay so let's get started and let us turn the difficulty of statistics into the easy path to earn good marks so again here is the blueprint of your question paper for 24 25 first year statistics okay now let me take you to section c as well as blueprint simultaneously so that you can get a clear idea. Now observe here, you have third chapter, <coughs> classification and tabulation. Now observe the long answer here, you have two questions. So long answers means each carries five marks. So here you have 10 marks in your hand. Okay. Now let us observe the question paper here. If you see the question paper, section C, then here third question is about a frequency distribution. Let us go through multiple question papers here. Okay, so you have one more question paper here. Okay, if you observe here, you have one discrete table and one blank table. Similarly, if you observe this paper here, okay, so you have a continuous frequency table and a blank table. Now, if you observe these three question papers here, okay, the most common thing is one is blank table and one is construction of a frequency distribution. Okay, so blank table and this either a discrete or a continuous frequency distribution will uh, easily get you 10 marks. Okay, so you have 10 marks from third chapter in terms of five marks questions. Okay, next now go to fourth chapter here, diagrammatic and graphical presentation of data. Again, there are two questions here. Okay. So you have one multiple bar diagram here. And in the second section, subsection of section C, you have a histogram to be drawn here. Okay. Similarly, in this question paper, you have one histogram in the second subsection. And in one subsection, you have rectangular diagram. Okay. Or your component bar diagram on percentage basis. Next, in even in this paper, you have a pie chart and in the second subsection you have histogram if you observe thoroughly here you can see that in the second subsection the first question is a graph and in the first subsection of section c you have one diagram okay so you have one graph and one diagram so one graph it could be either histogram uh, where you are told to construct a histogram and find the value of mode or it could be ogives okay or it could be either histogram, frequency, polygon. Okay, so it will be either histogram or it will be ogives. Okay, so again, this chapter will fetch you 10 marks. So 10 plus 10, 20. Okay, next. Now let us go to 8th chapter here. Interpolation and extrapolation. And before that, we shall look at association of attributes. Again, let us get back to section C here. Observe the 30th question here. You have one problem on association of attributes okay the problem will be either like this that is directly given in the form of table or observe this one here 
okay or you will be given incomplete data you have to write it in the form of a table complete the table and then apply the formula again here it is the same they have given an incomplete problem you have to complete it in the form of a table and then you have to solve the problem okay so one question that is of five marks worth is asked from association of attributes okay and interpolation and extrapolation again observe this question here the last question of the sixth main question is usually interpolation so observe it here in another paper here and in another paper here if you observe the last and the second last question are association of attributes and interpolation okay so if you attempt them then you will get 10 marks okay now the problem with this section is they have given you eight questions okay but you can write only four okay so even if you write all the five questions only four will be considered my suggestion here would be write all the five questions that is attempt the two tables attempt the diagram attempt the co uh, coefficient of association and attempt the interpolation question as well okay so even if one of them is wrong you will be another problem of your will be considered and you will be awarded the full marks so in section c you can easily score 20 marks and in the sub second subsection you can easily score five marks here because you have one fixed graph okay so <clears throat> you can score 25 marks easily if you focus on these questions again i am not giving you any guarantee here i am just telling you the pattern of the model question paper okay and that model question paper is based on the blueprint given here so based upon the blueprint i am telling you one simple trick so that it will ease your tension and it is not a guarantee okay now let us go for one more trick here okay now you have two chapters which are major contributors in terms of marks analysis of univariate data and analysis of bivariate data okay now here observe section d <clears throat> okay the first question of section d will be either a correlation coefficient or it will be a pearson's coefficient of skewness or it could be bowley's coefficient of skewness okay so you will get either a spearman's correlation coefficient sorry uh, pearson's correlation coefficient or Pauli's correlation coefficient or a coefficient of variation okay so coefficient of variation is your measures of dispersion and Pearson's co coefficient of skewness and Pauli's coefficient of skewness appears in the uh, third sub chapter of the fifth chapter that is measures of skewness okay so if you practice them thoroughly then these 10 marks are in your hand very easily okay so this is the fate of the first question in the section D okay next let us go to the second question now so here as you can see the second question in one paper you have been given carl pearson's method for a bivariate frequency table okay so for those who want to know how to solve this in the previous video we have covered section c and section d in that i have solved this problem go and uh, refer to that video it will be given in the description or in the pinned comment okay again observe here again you have a correlation coefficient problem again observe here you have a correlation coefficient problem and in this paper you have a problem based on regression analysis okay uh, it's here so you are given a uh, two uh, variable data two ungrouped data and you have been told to estimate the value of marks in statistics when a particular value of mathematics is given and similarly you are told to estimate the marks in mathematics when a value of statistics is given okay so either you will get a correlation coefficient problem here or a regression problem here so first one is either coefficient of variation or pearson's coefficient of skewness or bowley's coefficient of skewness bowley's coefficient of skewness means the skewness based on quartiles okay and the second question in section d will be either a Carl Pearson's correlation coefficient or a regression coefficient. Okay, so these are the most likely scenarios. Again, I'm saying it is not 100%. This is most likely scenario. Okay, so if you practice these two questions here, you will get easily 20 marks. Now, the third problem here is based on probability and random variable. Now, I am not saying all of you, but most of you find it difficult to deal with probability and random variable. So, don't worry about the 
third question for now okay just focus on these two later you can worry about these two chapters okay even in both the chapters my suggestion here is first you try to understand the concepts and then also try to perfect the theorems that is in probability try to uh, get the addition theorem of probability and multiplication of the theorem of probability in practice and perfect it and similarly in random variable practice addition theorem of two random variables and multiplication of multiplication theorem of two independent random variables okay so here you can easily get 20 marks in second subsection of c you can get 5 marks and in the first subsection you can get 20 marks so 20 plus 5 plus 20 you can easily get 45 marks here okay so the only thing is don't get excited by just listening to the video okay once the video ends okay try to analyze the model papers and then practice the questions accordingly a lot of people might do silly mistakes in draft drafting a blank table and then lose marks for example you may miss writing the title which will make you lose one mark or you may not categorize the different entities given here okay so you have to categorize them and write properly in the form of the table okay you have to mention the footnotes if you have used any footnote shortcuts in the table okay so all these smaller details should be written without missing okay so just hearing the strategy won't help also you have to practice them to such an extent that in exam you should not face any nervousness when you are dealing with such questions okay similarly for uh, <coughs> constructing the tables here it could be either a continuous table or a discrete table or a bivariate table okay practice them such such that you get the nitty gritty of what to construct when a question is given if the question is given like this then there is no need to worry here you are being given prepare a frequency table for the following data by taking the class intervals they already have given you the class intervals so you don't need to worry or if you take it here okay then here they have told you to represent the data in the form of a discrete frequency distribution okay but you have to know what is a discrete frequency distribution and what is a continuous frequency distribution in discrete you don't get any intervals okay because the, the range is very short for example if you identify here the lowest value is 0 and the highest value is 6 okay so when you are constructing the columns you have to write the first column that is of variable and then start writing the number 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and at last total once you have written that now you go for tally okay first all, mark all the tallies whatever numbers you see just put a tally and then count the frequency and then write this is how you have to practice okay so you will be either given a discrete this is a frequency distribution or a continuous frequency distribution if they give you the class intervals it is well and good if they don't then find the range okay and then construct the suitable frequency distribution accordingly okay so you will get a very good 20 marks here 5 marks here and then again 20 marks here so you can easily score 45 marks given that you have practiced it to the perfection okay so this was just one simple trick that i wanted to share which could help you in the exam i hope this trick will be useful for you okay if it is useful then please mention it in the comment section okay if you find this video helpful then please like the video share it with the needed i know in some parts the statistics exam might be over in some parts of the state the exams might still be there uh, in the near date okay so those whoever need it please share it with them and subscribe to the channel and also in the description there is a link to whatsapp channel okay please go there and follow it i will post all these question papers in the whatsapp channel itself so that you can download and practice okay so that's it for this video we shall meet in the next one thank you